our research is driven a lot by curiosity. We have developed ways to combine laser spectroscopy with mass spectrometry in such a way that we can look at individual molecules. And one way we apply that is by looking at nucleobases with the idea that those are the building blocks of life and we wonder how those could have come together four billion years ago for the first time to form the first self-replicating molecule which would be the origin of life. And as we did that we found that there are special properties to what today's forms the genetic alphabet um, that are not shared by most of the other molecules that would have been present in the primordial soup. And so those properties that we're looking at today might be remnants, fossils, molecular fossils, if you will, of what happened four billion years ago. Another way that we can use these same techniques is turning them around and finding specific compounds. For example, in uh, pot charts of archaeological finds and finding remnants that uh, are tracers of what people were drinking four thousand years ago. And so we're, we're using our techniques to be history detectives and uh, doing it at a single molecular level. And my name is Matanya de Vries and we're having fun with this.